Hey, how's it going everyone? Right in the eye here. Back to you guys with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some news from the folks over at NVIDIA and the people over there at AMD. Um, in particular, um, we're going to be concentrating on some of their um, secrets that are just leaked or something like that about a pos potential ha potentially having a dual GPU graphics card coming out. That being either what they're going to call it a 990, like they did the 690 back in the day, or the AMD, I believe it's a Fury X2. But um, we don't really know yet. It's just speculation for now what the names are going to be. But it is uh, apparent that they will have the NVIDIA's card will have two GM200 Maxwell cores in it. Now, I hope that this is two Titan X uh, GM200 cores in there and not cut down on ADTI cores. Um, basically, because that means they can match that up with a 12 gigabytes of VRAM on this uh, dual chip card. So you'll be looking at a pretty good configuration instead of the 6 gigabytes that you get on a 980 Ti, which is um, not really doing it so much. I play um, Metal Gear Solid 5 at max settings at 4K at 60 FPS, and I'm getting, reaching 6,500 megabytes of VRAM usage. So we're going to need a little bit more than the 6 gigabytes um, in, in some of these modern games and moving into the future. Um, on top of that, um, as you can see here, they did state something about uh, this, this is going to counter a problem on their hands since they think about this one. The R9 Fury X2 is only much later on this year, so that's when they're going to be releasing it. And they, they, it breaks down everything here about when everything released and stuff like that. And then the, apparently the Kepler Titan Z card, this is how the uh, control logic was. And then the Maxwell, first generation 100%. 135% performance, two times performance and wattage, and then they have a t Titan Z picture here. So, people are believing that it's probably going to be right around $1,200 if it's two 980s in there, $1,200, $1,300 for this card, which would probably, it's not going to be, uh, as much as the t 980 Ti is considered a Titan X killer, this would be even less of the case because... If it's 2980 Ti, 6 gigabytes of VRAM, you're spending 200 more dollars for two chips. Yes, but you're still getting 6 gigabytes of VRAM. So yes, you will have an SLI configuration, pretty beast. But I don't think that um, Nvidia is ready to st uh, stomp on their Titan X even more so in this market because these cards are clearly not going to be based towards gamers. If the Titan X isn't based towards gamers, and this one absolutely is not going to be for gamers because. Apparently, the the mainstream of NVIDIA graphics cards, the gamer, le the highest gaming level card is always the whatever the TI version is. So that's the uh, 980 TI. So the Titan X is already out of that spectrum, and this is going to be even far past it even more. So those are the people out there who are like, oh, the next uh, flagship gaming card. Well, technically, we already have that because um, we have the Titan X is already there, and this one would be above it. So switching on over to the AMD here. Apparently, they said that this thing, Radeon, the AMD Radeon R9 Fury X2 specs detailed, battled against the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti. So it's two Fury X chips inside of one motherboard, but they're saying that it's battled against the 980 Ti. So are, they're already admitting that the Fury X isn't better than the 980 Ti, but this thing is going to be more on scale of being equal to it, which doesn't make any sense. You're going to have two chips in one motherboard on one card, I mean, on one PCB, sorry. And it's going to go against a single GPU solution. I don't really understand what their marketing aspect is here. Because unless they add a lot of uh, 4 gig, like the high bandwidth memory, that would be pretty nice. But apparently, um, this thing, the, this one right here, and then here it is right here. The NVIDIA has that many flops. This is how many the Fury X2 is supposed to have. 17,000. So, it's a little ridiculous. It's a little bit ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I mean, take all this with a grain of salt. I mean, we don't know for sure. Um, I'll leave the links of these uh, uh, web pages down in the description below. You guys can read them. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I'd report some news on this. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Right in the Eye here. Back to you guys with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.